Holy Spirit is our teacher. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. John 16, verse 13. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. The Lord Jesus, revealing to us another facet of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he said this, that the Spirit, when he comes, he will teach us all things. So the Holy Spirit is our teacher. He's the one who's come to instruct us, He's the one who's come to further our knowledge, our understanding, our spiritual knowledge and spiritual understanding. He's the one who's come to unveil things that we do not know to us. He is our teacher. He's the one who would instruct us in the ways of God. He was the one who, was in, who would instruct us in the heart of God and the things that are on the heart of God. He would instruct us in the ways of God. This is the way that we should go and this is what God would want. So the Holy Spirit has come to be your personal teacher. But it's so important for us to receive of that. Meaning if there is somebody who's come to instruct you, who's come to teach you, who's come to share information, share knowledge. But if you don't pay attention, then their presence there is really of no value. They may have all the knowledge, they may have all the expertise, they may be able to bring the best of information to you, but if you're not receiving of what they've come to give, it makes no difference in your lives. So imagine, this is the same with the Holy Spirit. He's come to be our teacher, but we need to receive from Him. You need to say, Holy Spirit, teach me. So, take the scriptures, then you sit down to read your Bible, Say, Holy Spirit, open my heart to the things that are, you've put in this word. Holy Spirit, teach me things that I do not know yet. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things that are in the word of God. When the apostle Paul prayed for the Ephesians, he prayed that God will give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they may know him, so that they may know the hope or the purpose to which they've been called, that they may know the inheritance, the riches of the inheritance that has been given to them. And we prayed that they would know the greatness of the power of God available to us as believers. So you see, we need revelation in all of these areas. We need to be taught in all of these areas to grow. And the Holy Spirit has come to teach us all things. He's come to guide us into all the truth. When you're confused, when you hear conflicting ideas and opinions and thoughts, ask the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, unveil the Father to me. Holy Spirit, reveal the Father's purpose for my life. Holy Spirit, show me what is the inheritance that God has for me in Christ. Holy Spirit, help me to understand the greatness of the power of God available to me. Ask Him to unveil these things to you. He is your teacher, your personal teacher tutor, if you will, receive from him. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are our teacher. Open our eyes so that we can see wonderful things from the word. Open our ears to hear what you're teaching us and our hearts to understand the truth you unveil to us. Thank you for being our teacher. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.